This is going to be an interesting little uh, mould making project that I want to um, undertake. This is um, a seal from 1529 from a Hungarian mining town and the seal has been produced using a replica seal maker so obviously it's in, res in reverse. However what I want to do is not produce seals like that, I want to produce coins. So what I've done to produce the edge of the coin is to pop it into this plastic well, it was a lens holder. It just happens to be the same diameter of, as the um, seal maker. And what I'm going to be doing is pouring silicon rubber into this. So I initially make a little rubbery coin. And from that, we'll progress in making um, a further mould so that I can eventually cast these in bronze or tin or whatever metal I would choose. So we've come to the time to mix up the rubber, the silicon rubber, um, and this is going to be a little bit tricky because only a small quantity is required um, to produce this moulding. So we'll open the, uh, the tin, and we'll set the, I estimate about 50 uh, milliliters or 50 um, grams would be about the right amount so I'm going to pop that on there and set it to zero. Now these are our standard stirring sticks as, as, as you can see they've got a rounded end so a neat trick is just to cut off the, the end um, and this enables you to get into the corners when it comes to mixing so what we'll do is add 50 grams and I'm not going to pour it because I don't want to make a mess, so I'm just going to add it stick by stick as much as I can get in quickly. That's up to 12 grams. So that's our 50 grams. Just clear off the excess from there and now we have to add the catalyst so we've got our 50 grams in the beaker and we're going to add 5% um, by weight so because it's only a small amount what I've done is um, popped a little bit of hardener in the um, cap here and I'm going to draw up 2.5 millilitres with my syringe, making sure I don't get any air in. I'm going to pop it into the mix and then I need to give it a really good good stir. I'll just pop that on one side, get rid of it. And the secret here is to really make sure this is mixed up well. So it's not just a matter of a quick whiz like that, you've got to get round all the corners with that chopped off stirring stick and you've got to mix it into the middle like that and then when you think everything's looking really good you pretend you haven't done it before so you get it round like that stirring it all, scrape all the bottom like that so there's no unmixed bits at the base this is looking pretty good now So just carefully scrape the excess off there and put it to one side and we're ready to pour our mix I'll just put that back on there just to get it out of the way put that up there now as you can see there's loads of bubbles in here um, they will rise to the surface um, and what I do initially is just pour it very slowly into the middle of the uh, the mould. And so when it does flow into the, uh, the mould it will start from the middle as you will see 
and just work slowly outwards. Now these initial bubbles will um, come to the surface um, on top of this moulding which means the contact zone with the metal seal will be hopefully bubble free. Um, this would be very rare for a, a bubble to sort of sit on the bottom like that but they just rise to the surface. Now I've got to be careful here because I don't particularly want it to overflow so what I'm going to do is just catch it back on itself like that and just let it settle out a minute and you can see like the craters on the moon the bubbles are coming to the surface and popping you know I don't think I need any more it's looking pretty good I just add a tiny bit just just a tiny bit. There we go, that'll do it, I think. Now, just for a bit of fun, remember the original seal here. Well, because I've got a, a little bit left over, what I'm going to do is just pour it on top of that, just so it's not wasted. It might flow out onto the table, but it will peel off. I'm not going to be so critical with this, I'll just let it pour straight out and see where it gets to. So after 12 hours we've come back to see how we've gone on. Well, the easiest one is this one to release. As you can see it's spilt over a bit. But this was just a bit of extra silicon I had left over and so all that's done is produced um, an imprint of the original seal but um, I don't really need that but I just thought I'd show you that for a bit of fun. This is the, um, the important one and what we've got to do now is try and release it and uh, obviously it's stuck in pretty well so what I'm going to do is just try and release the little edges like this from the mould pulling it away from the plastic. There we go, that should be good. And then if I just see if I can get behind it with this. And there we go, that's coming now. And then we'll just peel it out carefully. So there's the original seal. And there's my new moulded silicon rubber coin. Now, as you can see, it's just got a tiny little bit of flash on it, which I will carefully um, cut off with um, scissors. But as you, as you can see, it's just mi a minute little bit of flash there. But that won't make much difference. But what I have now is um, um, basically um, what's going to be my master original rubber coin. And the reason I've done it is, I mean, rather than pour resin in there and possibly damage the um, um, original um, seal maker, I've produced a silicon rubber coin. Now I'll be using this as a master to produce um, a mould eventually um, to um, produce coins um, exactly like this.